What's up, YouTube? Knowledge of self determination. So, I wanted to make this video, man. I'm driving. I just left the house and shit. And I see, I hear the fucking fire trucks and shit. And um, I get in my car and I see the smoke. I mean, this is at least a half a mile away from my house and I see the smoke in the air. This is how hot it is in California right now, man. Shit is like spontaneously combusting. Like the mountains literally just bursting. That's how hot it is right now, man. Today is supposed to be 108 in the Inland Empire. For those of you who don't know what the Inland Empire is, that's Southern California, kind of midway between Northern and Southern California. Kind of almost like the midway point, I guess you could say that. Like from where I am, I could get to Vegas in about, with light traffic, about an hour and a half, possibly. Hour, hour and a half, possibly. But, yeah, man, it's, yo, the mountains just spark. And this is the second mountain. I, I sent you, I, I did a video about the one mountain a few, a couple of months ago that just burst into flames. But here's another one. You, I don't know if you can see the chopper up, chop up there. But yeah, they're gonna try and put some chemicals down to contain it because they're not gonna use water. Because, you know, California doesn't fucking have any water, really. Yeah, man. Can you see? That's how hot it is over here, man. It's not like the East Coast with the humidity. The humidity keeps this kind of stuff from happening because there's a certain amount of moisture in the air. But over here, it's dry heat, man. It's dry desert heat. And if you can tell by how brown the foliage and the grass and everything is, you can just tell how dry the heat is. That desert heat, it's just dry. And look at that, man. That, that's, gonna, that's gonna burn for a little while too, man. It's gonna scorch a good portion of that mountain before they actually get it under control. They'll use the chemicals and stuff to um, kind of be tarred the flames and everything. But like I said, we can't use water because con we're constantly in a drought here in California. Look at that shit, man. And don't forget, people hike on these mountains and stuff. And there are people, um, some of the big, the larger mountains, this is a pretty, these are pretty small mountains compared to some of the other ones in California. But, you know, people build their houses up here in these mountains and stuff too. So you can only imagine, you know, what people who are facing a forest fire or a mountain fire has to go through or how much anxiety is there. Hey man, I saw those, well the smoke actually kind of, it looked like it kind of died down, but that's because it's a little windy right now. But I don't know if you guys can see that, where those new, where those flames are kind of like raging. Kind of, because that was a little bit smaller at first. Man, that's kind of, and see that's, that's kind of the thing, like over here, like it'll be hot, that hot ass dry desert heat, but the wind, you get those Santa Ana winds in the summertime too. So it kind of like kind of balances it out a little but not really because it's still hot as fuck but it's still better than you know it being 108 and it feels like it's 130 the humidity is way less over here I gotta say although it has been a little bit humid lately but nothing like the east coast or like down in Texas or Florida or something like that look at that man I think that shit that fire is ray <laughs> Like it's, it's gonna cover a good portion of that um of that mountain and the fuck and the wind doesn't help at all the wind is just gonna carry the fire even further the wind only fuels it look you can see it, it's starting to get worse as i'm talking you can see those flames getting bigger the plumes of smoke are getting a lot darker and thicker and look, there's quite a few people checking this out too man i ain't trying to get nobody license plates on there but there's quite a few people checking this out I know it's shaky just because I got it zoomed in. Sorry about that. Zoom out more to kind of control that shaking. Yeah, man, Mother Nature at its finest. Now, are there any uh, any um, global warming doubters out there? Because, I mean, yeah, it gets hot like this in California on a regular, yes, it does. It does, but I don't know. I, I think global warming is a thing. I can't say that so much for California because this, this shit happens in California. Brush fires and stuff like that. 
this is something that's always happened, but I don't know, man. Some of these, some of these heat index numbers are kind of astronomical at times. Like in Texas, the heat index is like 115 degrees, I think, the other day or a few weeks ago. It's crazy. Look at that, man. This, this mountain, I know I'm too far back for you guys to actually see it in great detail, but that mountain that I'm looking at right now look like it's completely charred. Like the flames literally just kind of crept over it. Like just, like, man, it, like it's, it's charred. Like, 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 like the flames are like Pac-Man and the fucking mountain is fucking power pellets. Like it's just slowly but surely charring that mountain. It's crazy. I do notice too, it doesn't get as hot in LA for some reason. I think because LA is closer to the water. I'm not sure, but I notice a difference between being in the Inland Empire and then going further south to LA. The temperature is usually cooler in LA. But yeah, man, this, like, this has no signs of stopping anytime soon. I think the helicopters up there trying to like survey where the in the wind, in the wind, most winds are, are westward winds, so the wind usually blows from the west. But either way, it's still going to fuel that fire, those flames. But I'm gonna get out of here now, guys. Though I just wanted you guys to see that how fucking hot it is in California. But I'm out, peace.